Mikey, that was much better today than last Saturday, wasn't it? It certainly was, Alec, but that wasn't difficult to be better than last Saturday, to be honest. It's been a tough week for the boys. We've worked them hard. They've been in every day. We sat down on Monday and said our league form in particular has not been good enough and we want a reaction. Uh, the staff, myself, the gaffer, Coops, we all, we all want a reaction from the players and we wanted that through the week. It's been a great week's training. They've worked really, really hard. It's not been the happiest of uh, happiest of camps this week, but that it was important that we got back to winning ways. And again, in the trophy, which creates a bit of revenue for the club again, which is fantastic. Yeah, excitement for the fans as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course. It's it's a great opportunity to uh, to get to Wembley. If I'm honest, um, we've had a great run in it over the last two seasons, getting to the quarterfinals last year from a level below this, and. Uh, Obviously, when we when we got to the semis and we've beaten by the eventual winners both 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 times in the last season, so it would be fantastic to continue our sort of rich vein of form in this cup this season, and hopefully, who knows where we could get to. Back to today's game, very solid performance today, I thought, and uh, I've got to say I didn't actually necessarily agree with the man of the match given. I thought Wayne Turk had an extremely good game today. Yeah, I mean, we've talked this week about going back to basics. You know, I know it sounds stupid, but we've said about defenders doing their job defensively, defending, midfielders keeping the ball, locking onto their man, winning an individual battle, and forwards scoring goals and creating chances. And, you know, we've worked hard on our set pieces as well. I think that showed today with, with we looked threatening from corners, we looked threatening from free kicks and ended up obviously getting a goal from, from one of them, which is fantastic from, from our point of view because that's how we've we've set up to play. And But yeah, Turks was outstanding today you know what you're going to get from Turks week in week out everyone everyone that comes here and has been supporting the club for a while knows knows Wayne and knows what he brings to the team he's got that grit and determination and experience and yeah he was outstanding today Dutch was outstanding I mean you could go th right th right through the team and say that everyone put put their shift in today and, and that was it was fantastic to get back to winning ways Western I think only had two opportunities all the game uh, so it's a bit difficult to judge young Mark Scott wasn't it in some ways yeah no I thought Scotty did well I thought everything that he had to deal with he dealt with very well I thought his kicking was excellent um, Western are a clever side they play good football you, you can tell they're, they're sharp to get on the ball and move it sh um, move it quickly and uh, they 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 caused us a few problems from set pieces and with good movement, but we we managed to um, managed to keep a clean sheet today, which again is an, is another massive point. Yeah, two good goals as well. Two very very good goals. Yeah, Stewie playing in a little bit of a higher role than he has been over the past few weeks, and you know he he scores goals like that week in week out in training, and it's nice to see him do it on a Saturday. It's very good not to have to go through a replay in this, isn't it, with next Saturday looming. Yeah, of course. The last last thing we would have wanted is is a replay on Tuesday night going into Saturday's game. So yeah, no, fantastic that we've we've got through it the first attempt, and um, hopefully we can build on the win and the confidence that a clean sheet brings, and take it into what's going to be a massive week for the football club, massive preparation, and build up for a for a fantastic cup tie. Going to be a fight for places, I, I sense, really, because Luke Raddick was very near today. I believe Chris Giles is very near as well, and all of a sudden you're going to have a choice to make. Yeah, which is what we want as, as as a management team. You know, we we want those difficult decisions where we've got players vying for different positions because that's what creates, you know, that's what creates excellence and that's what we're striving for. And bringing in the players that we've brought in over the past few weeks just increases that competition for places, keeps everyone on their toes, and and just raises the standard of everything. So um, yeah, we're we'll, we're we'll, we're in good shape going into this tie, and we'll have a like I said, a great week's preparation um, this week going into it and. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we could get through to that third round. You won't have anything to do at all this week, Mikey, because all the players will be up for it, and you know it. They, yep. they, they won't perhaps get a better opportunity to show what they could do until the next round. That is no, not at all. And yeah, I mean, in terms of motivation and inspiration, it's it's pretty easy. We, do, we I don't think we have to do much on that front. But in terms of structure, organisation, and and the way we set the team up, that's going to be very, very important. So um, we'll be doing a lot of work on that this week, having seen them. Daryl and I went up to Grimsby on Tuesday night, um, so we've got a fair idea of, of um, what they're about, and we'll we'll set up a team to hopefully go and win the game. Yeah, and a fair chance of winning, I would say. Um, I think people ought to realise that um, the last estimate for away support is just over a thousand, so we want our people to come out as well. Yeah, I mean, if if they're bringing a thousand down, then that's that's massive. We, you know, we need everyone here. Otherwise, it's going to feel like a home game for them, and and that's not what we want at all. We want a big crowd behind us, and um, we want them to 
come to you know the Fortress Raymac where we've we've got a great record here and um, hopefully go home with their tails between their legs. Well, exciting times to come. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Very much so. Cheers, Alec. Well, Mark, welcome to Salisbury City Football Club. A clean sheet to start with. Yeah, not bad start. Eh? It's nice to get a clean sheet for every keeper, I suppose. So. You've been uh, very vocal this week about what you're going to do here. That's the best start you can have. Just to elaborate on that for the fans, please. But like, so a couple of fans said, like, you've got some big boots to fill or some big gloves to fill. And like, I said to them, like, I'm not here to fill gloves, I'm here to win games. So, do you know what I mean? Just put it out there. I and mean, that's what I've done, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fact, you didn't have an awful lot to do today, did you? No, like, I felt I could come from more crosses than I did, but get used to the back four, kick him, I was happy with. But not really any shots. I can't remember any shots, to be fair. No, it's a big ask, really. Um, I mean, actually had a punch today, uh, you, which I should have caught, <laughs> and, and one and one which was um, really straight at you. And I think I could have saved it, but that's about it, really. Do you want to do some volleys and check? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> no. uh, we've, um, yeah, it's it's very difficult for any any new player to come in straight away, isn't it? Because you haven't had that much chance to to uh, practice with your your. Well, your I, I, we had um, we had training Tuesday, uh, Thursday evening, even, and I got a phone call like late Thursday afternoon saying you're going on loan, so. Been with the lads training Thursday, Friday morning. They're a great bunch of lads, got on with them really well. I knew um, Fitz from before, he's from around my area. So it was quite easy to like blend in with the yeah. lads. Good. Well, it looks like you did today. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got a bit of experience in the FA Cup, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, last season in particular, Colchester, wasn't it? Um, were you man of the match that day? No, was, um, we, got, we, got, um, we got to the first round, we beat, I think it's Redbridge in the... We beat yeah. Bath before that in the conference, then Redbridge in the conference south, right. and then my lone finish, I couldn't play in the Colchester game. Ah. But um, for the first round, we won the first round against Red Redbridge, and I got voted player of the round. But I, well, I didn't get voted, I got nominated. Mm. Kind of about fourth out of five, but well, you were in the top five, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so uh, you just want to go a little bit further this time, then? Uh, it's, it's time is weird, like, I've, I couldn't play in the second round last year, and then this year I've come in and play, coming into the second round, so hopefully go a step further and mm. third. Fourth, fifth. Obviously, you're, you're, yeah. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> I think we stand perhaps a little bit better chance of the FA Trophy, to be honest. You never know. No. <laughs> well, we've had some very good runs in the FA Trophy, frankly, and it could be for the long run for you too. And yeah. luckily, of course, you're not tied for either the trophy or the cup, so you can no. see the full bit of action. Oh yeah, it, like it's always it's always good to play against oppositions like Grimsby, who are in a higher league, and like test yourself against teams like that. Any thoughts about Grimsby? I mean, you do know anything about them? They're, they're in the Blue Square Premier. Um, That's about it, isn't it? Alan Connor used to play, like, we've signed someone from Grimsby, so give him a ring later and see, see what they're about. <laughs> I think there are a lot of people doing that about Grimsby at the moment. <laughs> um, I think we've got a real chance, actually, at home. Yeah, I got, I got a phone call from a few people saying that Grimsby are beatable. We just need to maybe, like, not get caught up in the moment and, like, focus as a team, press them high, work hard, and we should be right. I think so too. Well, looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Oh, I'm excited, real excited for it. Good. And uh, there should be a very big crowd here next week, which is what, perhaps what, what you used to more, yeah? Oh yeah, Chairman should be happy with that, eh? Nice big crowd. <laughs> I'll be happy when we've won it. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. <laughs> okay, Mike, thanks very much for coming out. Cheers. I appreciate it, thank you. Okay,